Welcome to today's subject. Everybody working on X input. Controller rumble. Controller rumble, rumble for Windows. Actually kind of lucky here because um, X input is actually already coded for Windows, but not the force feedback part. So, got to code the force feedback part today. Where did I get that? I had this little link to, there it is, getting started with X input. Yeah, I did. Yep. You could tell that I bought it. That's cool. I didn't know you could get, I didn't know you got like, um, information like that from Steam. Yeah, here it is. So we're going to set some vibration up. Let's jump right in. See what we got already. You got a 4.0? Holy crap! That's awesome, man. Congratulations. That's like impossible in college. Oh, I'm on your friend list. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 4.0 is awesome. That's the best you can get. It's difficult. It's usually quite difficult to get, especially at university. Prop salad. That's amazing. So it looks like the Win32 force feedback's all set up, but not maybe not the yeah, this is the direct, this is the direct X version. Oh, uh, yeah. Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's opposite. Oh my gosh, that's totally opposite than ours. 1.0 is the best for you guys and 4.0 is the worst? That's crazy. Yeah, Sal, you should be happy, man. Good job. Okay, so this is all written for direct input. Maybe I should be editing this code here. Broken GL. Uh, what's up, Mr. Frederick? Still coding up this controller rumble stuff. Today it's um today I'm working on Windows part of it. Oh, I got everything actually finished yesterday too with the Linux, so it's all working with Linux. It's all good. And it's integrated in the game now, it's all nice and clean code. So now it's just the drivery part of getting it to work on uh, Windows and Mac. So I'm looking at where, how this whole X or this whole OIS library initializes itself. And here's where it initializes and it says if it's X input, it enumerates. Whoa. So where does it set this whole is x input thing? Just 
super positive. Rocket, what's up, Rocket? Do you're Bitcoin mining now? I know, it is. It can be a total pain, multi-platform stuff. Thank God Coco City X handles all the but most of the stuff. It's just the controllers it doesn't handle. Yeah, of course, man. Yeah, give it away. Give it away to somebody. Checks check in X input devices. This looks kind of where it might be. But still, I don't know where this is X input gets set. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's at the bottom of this whole check in X input devices thing. Yeah, Teeks. If anybody did not hear yet, Teek just released his game on Steam. Atomic Reconstruction. So where does it actually list if it has force feedback? Uh, okay, so here's where it's creating a new Win32 force feedback. Yeah, your engine was dropping frames with 30 dynamic lights. Now you can get 300? Damn, dude. Yeah, styling. That's awesome. Okay, so we're going to need to create a new Win32 force feedback device for the X input. Enum device objects, enum effects callback. So we're going to be doing something like um, something like this in here. This M joystick, that's a uh, handle to the joystick. What's up, Steve? Whoa. All right, so we're going to be creating a Win32 force feedback, but then now we need to make the force feedback able to use X input. 
Oh, and this only can be created with a direct input device. Okay, so we need to make the Win32 force feedback class smarter. Oh no, he lost it, dang. Yeah, see, share, man. Hmm, maybe instead of creating... So winter to force feedback H. caching uniform locations yeah you got to look those up while I string each time right This is kind of ridiculous to go and code this whole thing with a bunch of ifs in there. I'm going to make this specific for x input. So we'll make a specific win32 force feedback x input dot h and same thing Hmm. Yo, what's up, Arcane? Yeah, please ask. Don't. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Ask away. Okay, so what includes Win32 force feedback? What's up, Cropper? Dot H. The CPP and the joystick. Okay. Ah, oh, well it's easy enough. So we'll take the joystick and if we're doing the whole 
Um, where is this at? There it is. X input support. Then we can include the specific X input. H Okay, we're gonna have to call it something else with 32 force feedback X like X input basically. YouTube's been suggesting me using floats a lot. Um, actually, I prefer to use integers when possible. I don't. I floating point values can be slightly off sometimes, so it's it's a lot better to use integer integer if possible, but. Um, no, yeah, I, I think maybe, yeah, I think you, I, I definitely would prefer to use integers. So I, there's never really a case where I would use a, a floating point value instead of an integer if an integer was possible. Going higher, OpenGL S3. Huh, I don't know, man. I'm not that knowledgeable about OpenGL. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Arcane, it's true. You're you're gonna get that basic basic bath problem sometimes because you, you know. And actually, the way, because of you, you just learn how floating point values actually work. Um, they're binary, so they're binary values that can't actually store exactly like 1.0 values. But as long as you're on the same platform, that 1.0 value will always be the same 1.0 value. It's just that it's just that on different platforms, that 1.0 might be 1.00001, and another one might be 1.00017 or something like that. You know. Uh, no, crap, you didn't, man. Okay, so I'm mimicking this force feedback exit, or the regular force feedback with this new class called force feedback X input. And um, where's the Win32 joystick at? I kind of started to change my mind about this. I might just throw this all into the same file. Yeah, definitely share a link, man. So Win32 joystick takes an I direct input eight pointer 
but how does it do its So it has an iDirect 8 pointer and a device. But where is it? Okay, so if it switches into X input. Hmm, is X input. Okay, so is x input and then x input device equals x device. What the hell is an x device? It's just an int. So what is x device? Where does it even set this whole is x input? Oh, maybe that's all the way in joystick. No, it's not here. Wow, is x input. Dang. I'm having trouble finding this. Cropper, what's up, man? I'm looking at your videos here. Nice. That's 2004. 2014 looks good already. Oh, nice, man. You really got the lighting a lot better. Everything's better in 2015 one. Nice job, dude. It's a cool sci-fi platform we're working on there. Three days back, you're squashing bugs, you're bugging your check completion method, and you're using floats. Yeah, but in that case, I was using floats because um, because it's a value between zero and one. I guess I could have used zero to a hundred or zero to a thousand as an integer, and that probably would be a good way to go. But it's just that there's there's a variable number of um, enemies and so I wanted to have a percentage in that case right it's just a percentage zero to one so in that case using a float is you know it works for in that particular case but I would definitely prefer integers and in fact now that you mention it that might be a good way to do it to actually convert that to using integers what's up light wolf Uh, more public beta release soon? Uh, no, I'm not doing a more public beta release. It's just going to be the same way um, until the game's done. So yeah, it's just going to be beta all the way. Closed, private beta, just the way it is. Um, so yeah, when it gets, when I finally get closer to release, once, it's, once, it's, once the game's getting closer to being done, um, I'll start announcing a, a release date and all that. But at this point, I have no idea when the release is going to be. Um, but yeah, they've been doing a lot of polish lately because I upgraded everybody to a lot of people to the beta version uh, two weeks ago. So everybody that's been waiting for Song Ringer for like more than six months and they ordered like the $16 version, um, I just upgraded them for free. So instead, of, the deal always was, you know, they could they get the game when it comes out. But because they were all waiting so long and also I had promised, pretty much everybody had been promised like you're gonna play the game in 2016. So I just upgraded people for free that had been waiting that long and that were expecting to play the game in 2016. So 
that's kind of why I've been doing so much polish le lately because there's been so many new people playing the game and giving me feedback and running into bugs and stuff like that. So um, hopefully after this month is done, I can get back to actually the creative part and, you know, finish the finish the story, um, go back and refine all the bosses, add more enemies, add more secrets and little, um, you know, cool stuff to the game like uh, optional bosses and things like that. What's up, Protito? <laughs> it's beer 30. Yeah, yeah. Win 32 pre Rex. Okay. So we've got a joystick info class. Define on Win32 only. And this is the thing that has its is x input and x input dev. Oh. Let's get this um, getting started with x input open too. x input set state. <laughs> I love this variable i. What the hell is that? It's the user index. Yeah, exactly. It's the controller number. So it looks like um, the way OIS designed this is they've, they've got this int x input device, which is just 0 to 3. Some GUIDs, vendor, device ID. OK, so enforce feedback. Does it have access to the joystick info? Uh, yeah, I think I changed my mind about how this works. I think I'm going to delete this extra file. It's just not the way this thing is all, this library is all set up. Have you had any major setbacks working towards your release? Thankfully, no. I have not had any major setbacks. I mean, the only setback I've really had is just being behind, you know? That's like, I wish I, wish I could work faster, but I already work yeah, I work a lot. Let's just say that. I work seven days a week, at least eight hours a day. And I have like so many bugs left to do. This is what worries me the most is that I've got so much stuff I really want to keep doing with the game and there's stuff still to be created. And I've got, I'm, I'm like 200 bugs deep. You know, there's 125 bugs on my now list, 120 bugs on my later list. And no matter what I do, these never, this never goes down. I'll go and like hack off 20 to 40 bugs a week and I'll get 20 to 40 more bugs that same week. So I don't know, that's the one setback is it's like, it's like bugs are never ending. So how does it, how does it know? I don't think it does know. But it will need to have access to its X input device. Okay, get rid of those.
Okay, so instead of Yeah, so we'll create another constructor type. And let's name it the same thing as, yeah, x input dev. This will be negative one. By default and then we'll have another kind of constructor so yeah a second constructor you can construct it with a int x input device and it'll just know Okay, so when the joystick is all, this is where it gets enumerated and it creates an X input device. And then where's that little bit where I was going to create? Aha, here we go. Yeah. So it's not this M joystick. I think it's Or wait, Win32 joystick. And joystick. Yeah, M joystick. Okay. So joystick infos, M joy info, joystick info. Yeah, okay, so it's M joy info. God damn, this is hard. M joy info. Wait, is that a pointer? No, it's just mjoy info dot x input device number. Alright, so now we need Win32 force feedback to have a, a second constructor. I probably should switch to Visual Studio. This would really help. Yeah, screw this. This is way too hard trying to code in TextMate.
but what the hell is going on It's like no way to know what folder this is. Could not find a part of the path. What the hell are you talking about? Source OIS include Win32. Source OIS includes. Oh, did I just. Oh. That's better. Same thing here, gotta fix this.
Reload all. Reload all. Dude, just keep reloading. Go right ahead. Reload as much as you want. Okay, this is looking better. All these things have triangles next to them. That looks great. I love the look of these triangles. Great. Yay, I can open the header. All right, okay, so what I've done so far is I've added an X input device number to the Win32 force feedback class. Now I'm adding another constructor. What's up, B underscore 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 B? Welcome to the stream, man. Int exp input device. Okay, if we get constructed with this thing, wait a minute, this gets constructed right here, needs to initialize x input device with negative one. That means it's not valid. This one though, Handle zero joystick. And X input device. Okay, so now we have a constructor for that. Nice, man. You want to make a Leonardo Carpet Run game? Okay, so now when it creates the, in this Win32 joystick thing, here's where it enumerates, it gets a device, and it creates a new force feedback. Let's see if we can run the code to this point. Get some water. Oh, I don't need this anymore about this force feedback extra header.
this undefined. Oh, where did I get that from? Anyways, I think it's just the regular this. Not the royal this, but the regular this. Okay, so if you're just tuning in to the stream, what I'm working on today is controller rumble in Windows, and I'm working with a library called OIS, so I'm trying to like code some stuff up to how they did it, I'm trying to keep it with their style so I can like submit a pull request if necessary. Um, basically, they wrote all this code for X input except for the force feedback part, so I'm trying to implement the force feedback part of X input. Okay, so let's see if we can get to that breakpoint. <laughs> Wait a minute, why don't we have? Ah, uh, maybe the controller's not plugged into this. Connect to Windows. Yeah, nice. All right, so we enumerated our joystick and got to the breakpoint. Yes, awesome. Okay, we'll step in, just make sure it goes into this function, cool. It's going into this function, so let's do a test. We call this function that um, I'm looking at here called X input set state. Let's just try that, right when we construct the, the force feedback-y thing. What might happen here is it's just, well, what's probably going to happen is it's just going to Whoops. It's going to start vibrating the controller, but never stop vibrating the controller. But we'll figure that out. I'll just unplug the controller if it need be. And then um, if this works, shit, we're getting close. I just need to go work up this whole class to make sure it can use this function basically to apply, um, apply the force feedback. All right, so this is going to be using x input dev. Let's see if it works. First we'll build. It doesn't work yet. I just um the uh, the kind of I guess you could call it boilerplate code that I'm writing is not really boiler. I don't know. The setup. The setup works. Now I gotta get the execution. I gotta get it to vibrate the controller. It might actually start vibrating the controller right away. I'm gonna put it in my hand so it doesn't scare me. Don't scare me. Don't scare me, controller rumble. Oh, whoops. Get past this breakpoint. In fact, we can turn this breakpoint off now. Yeah! It's vibrating! Oh, nice! It's just going to vibrate forever. So I'm going to unplug it. Yes, this is so sweet! We got vibrating on Windows! Oh! 
Okay, so the next bit's gonna be a bunch of code to get this working with X input, which shouldn't be too hard now that we've got this. Connect that back to Windows, we can break here. So what function did it call? It looks like it called set master gain. Okay, so basically every single one of these functions inside the Win32 force feedback class is gonna need to be smart about how about how it knows whether to call the direct input or the X input versions of functions. So some a little thing to do, to start here with is like um, if the X input device is greater than or equal to zero. Then we'll do some code specific to the X input and return. So every one of these functions now is going to need something like this. These public functions, I mean. Anything that this, this class might call needs a wrapper around this kind of stuff. So here's its default constructor. What is its... This constructor kind of worries me. It totally worries me. That means that this whole class has random data in it. Okay, so... But as long as, yeah, I guess as long as nothing is calling that, let's make, just make sure. Um, mate source OIS. See anything that would call new win32 force feedback. Yeah, so there's only two places it calls that constructor, and neither of the, both of them don't call the default constructor. So <laughs> that constructor is not even needed. Okay, so if our effect list is is going to be empty anyways, so get memory load. Here's one. We don't want it calling the joystick or anything. So if x input device is greater than or equal to zero return zero. That's the memory load. All right. Upload switch effect force. This just calls, that calls, this removes Okay, so we'll need to do some special logic for removing. Setting the master gain. I guess we might need to do a same thing with auto center mode. We might need some like member variables for that. Updating a constant effect. It's a curse. Oh, right. The third rail. <laughs> the third rail. So it looks like none of these are calling or using pointers. 
So all these could actually just basically the thing that has to be fixed here is the upload function. Okay, well, that's pretty simple. So if the x input device is greater than or equal to zero, we can use the, this to upload an effect. We'll do that in a second. Add effect support. Oh, this is a custom function. It's probably called by, what, what calls this? Add effect support. Oh. This is called from joystick. which is in the direct input. Okay, so that's not going to get called. All right, so we've got things set up now, so it's not going to use the direct input empty pointer for all this stuff. Now I want to go and try and use this upload function and just change, change it to just do that. Okay, so we need to copy it from the direct input effect thingy. Or oh, just copy it from the const effect thing. So the effect hmm. Wait, this has already been all processed. Let's look at the periodic effect conditional periodic okay this is gonna go and upload di effect effect well, this is just using a different grid magnitude effect mag magnitude that's what we're looking for so it's pf dw magnitude what the hell is the pf though there's the di Oh, well, maybe it's in set common properties. So the DI effect and then the, I don't know what the PF is. Why is American food food so sugary? 
actually, there's a lot of science, or not a lot of science, but a lot of, like, political reasons to it. Not political reasons, but, like, corporate interests that went into it. Like, they were, like, people in America were, like, oh, we're getting fat. And this was, like, the 70s. Okay, let's take out all the fat from our food. And they're, like, oh, shit. Our food tastes really crappy without fat. Let's add more sugar. You do need the weight, Rocket. Uh, Rocket needs the weight. Get some weight, man. Oh, the PF is right before the effect. So it's the LP void. Struct type. This is DI effect LP void type specific params. Dude, all I want is the magnitude. Oh, it's just effect magnitude. The apples are twice as big and the onions too. See you, Steve, later, man. Okay, so upload, we're looking, we got the effect. Is it just effect mag magnitude? No. Hmm, all I want to get is the magnitude here. <laughs> yeah, compost. I know. My house, our house doesn't have a, a garbage disposal either. Luckily, my city, or Oakland, has like its own compost. Like, you got, there's actually a whole trash bin just for composting. So the whole city composts. Pretty nice. Oh, rooftop garden. Nice. the hell this is freaking worrisome computer's going crazy hot
Yeah, we call it trash. So for each one of these things, it's getting a different magnitude. And then it's setting it into this. Okay, I got it, I got it. I know what to do. I'm just gonna dynamic cast, periodic effect. On effect, get force effect. Go in magnitude equals zero. If the effect is not equal to zero, this is not my coding style, but I'm going to code with their style anyway. Then the magnitude equals effect magnitude. There, now we can set the magnitude here. And make sure that the windows is going, skipping the menu. Okay, so we got everything set up. It's going to use this upload function now, or it should. Kitchen toilet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cook rice. I've never tried that with rice. With lemon peels? <laughs> Burger and beer. <laughs> Uh, okay. What? Yeah, McDonald's is like... You don't even know. I don't even know. Does anybody actually know what the meat is in McDonald's? It's at least a jack in the box. Uh, uh, oh, cool. Okay, so if I walk straight up here, oh, it didn't, it didn't do it. Oh, that might be because. It didn't even enumerate the effect. Hold on. It's probably what it is. So we need to add a bunch of effects. Yeah, wasn't that add effect support? And then we call add effect types. Which is a function of OIS force feedback, which just puts back the supported effects. Oh, okay. So yeah, we need to do something like that. And 
when we initialize, we call this constructor So yeah, we could do a periodic force. <laughs> yeah, God's gift to man. Oh, wait, no, 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 this is, effect is, effect periodic force, and then, and then, effect triangle. Okay, so there, we're just pushing back that this this um, X input device supports periodic triangle. Never again. Since I do food tips now. Extremely small amount of salt on Nutella. Ooh. Sounds good. I love salt and sweet. Such a good combo. What's up, LaFils de Vatic de Vig? What's up, man? Come on. Oh, it didn't work. Damn it. Okay, it's time to debug. The controller works. The debug doesn't. Okay, so we'll set a breakpoint here. Actually, let's go set a breakpoint inside input controllers when it's trying to do a new rumble effect. Start there. And then we'll do another one when we're right about to upload an effect. Right here. Step into those functions. I know, right? Minus 40? Oh God. I think he was talking about Fahrenheit, right? <laughs> I know, American football is a lot different than your football. We didn't get either of those breakpoints. Wait, no, it's gonna be right here. There we go. Okay, so as soon as the player gets close to that, those big doors is supposed to rumble the controller. So the first thing is to check if it can even get that preferred type. Let's see if its function works. We're gonna look inside this method. Shouldn't already have it cool. So we get the device. Shouldn't be null. Oh, it's null. What? Why is it no? Oh, 
What? Device hash 23169. This looks okay. Types unknown though. Okay, we gotta start again. Why is it not finding the device? Okay, that's. Oh, oh. Maybe it isn't even finding the device. When it gets started, it pushes back the force feedback here. Let's see what that is. Oh, I thought I did this already. Oh, that would just be in its, its initialization code and stuff. Wait, wait. Let's go delete that breakpoint and put the breakpoint here. Try that. All right, so we're gonna query the interface for the force feedback. I know it's creating the force feedback, but I'm not sure if it's actually querying it back or something. Let's find out. So we're gonna step into this method. Oh yeah, yeah, it's got it. MFF device, return it. Dynamic cast it to a force feedback. Does that work? Face and force are both fine. What's the device hash? 25191 though. Okay, so the device hash is different. The device hash is different, is it? Hmm. And then later, what? America's connected to Asia? Oh, it's because he's using this player. your device hash thing. Oh, that explains it. Okay, so we could fix this. Uh, I need to like note this somewhere. can return other devices that are not in use currently. Okay, well that's noted. But if I go and just delete all these, Mac, Mac. Actually, I should delete all these. First I'll save, back up the saves. Delete all my controller bindings. Start over. <laughs> uh, 
Christmas. <laughs> I know, right, Rocket? It's a lot different than your Formula One, huh? Formula One's more interesting, in my opinion. <laughs> it is if you're going faster than the guy in front of you. <laughs> so true. <laughs> Salad brings up an excellent point, as always. Come on, what are you doing now, huh? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so this time... It gets a... Uh, yes, it gets the right device, device hash. Nice. So let's see if this get preferred type thing works. We're gonna we got a list of preferred types. We got the force feedback return true. Loop over the if it supports this. Try it. La la la. Type this one's triangle. It's probably gonna support this because I just pushed it back into that list or whatever. Return true, yay! Types device hash equals type, return type, sweet. Now it's working. Now we can push back a new rumble. Okay. So we can delete this breakpoint and continue and we should have a controller rumble, come on, rumble! Oh, let's see what happens when it uploads. If not uploaded, force upload, we step in here. Switch the kind of effect. Periodic, step into the periodic. It's gonna set up a, a direct input variables and stuff. But that's okay. Switch into this triangle thing and then upload. Yes, okay. We got a magnitude of 35. Go ahead and play. Oh, and then break, turn off this break point. Oh, it's working! It was just very subtle. Oh, okay, so that's probably because the other one is, has a max of 10,000 and this one has a max of 35. I'll be right back.
Whoa, that's how NASCAR got started? <laughs> oh, Olympic swimming too. Okay, so magnitude is zero to 10,000. Oh, and that's 65,000. No wonder it was so small. Okay. So that's magnitude times You're going to convert this into a float, basically. So float F magnitude times six, five, five, three, five. This is basically 6.5535. If magnitude is greater than Six five five five. Yeah, you got a break coming up. Sweet. Cure lore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, productive. You're going to be so productive. You're going to have so many burgers and beer. Oh. Okay, so there. I'm just basically taking the magnitude that was from 0 to 10,000 and making it from 0 to 65,000. So scaling it up, the set of the direct input values is now the uh, x input values. So is it a good question. What's up? Wait a bit. I'm working on a controller rumble rumble for Windows today, and so far it's freaking working. Yeah, it's working. You will. You're pretty fast, Mr. Frenick. Every day you're like, look what I did today. Look, I freaking just did a whole shadow system. Nice, you've been learning OpenGL? Sweet, man. Pass blue ribbon. <laughs> Done. Yeah, it's rumbling. Oh, it works. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Controller rumble on Windows. Done. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about when it's, oh, hold on. This is a really good thing to check. Um, yeah. So what happens if when that device is done though? Like it rumbles, right? But does it stop rumbling? Very important thing. I've had a couple times so far doing it on Linux where I just accidentally forgot something and then it just kept rumbling forever. So I'm going to set it up so it's doing a full strength, no jitter, for the entire door duration. Actually, let's go half the door duration. So it's going to leave it, it's going to leave it like that. So I wonder if X input requires you to stop or something. Requires you to stop like, you know, st stop the vibration. 
Yeah, of course. You can turn off Rumble. I'll make sure of that. <laughs> nice. You like IPAs? Actually, I should put that on my list to do, like, the, uh... Make that a really high priority item to disable rumble with the setting. It'll probably be enabled by default. But yeah, you'll be able to just go in your input settings and disable it. Teak, tell me why you why you hate having rumble in games. What is it about the rumble that you, you dislike? It's Bud Light is, right? When you go around the world, Bud Light is like our premium beer. They're like, yeah, you want some American beer? Have some Bud Light. And it's like considered premium. Okay, it's vibrating, vibrating, vibrating. Does it stop? No, it does not. It just keeps vibrating forever. Okay, so this is something very important. You gotta turn off the rumble somehow. Oh, hey, it stopped rumbling when I closed the app. That's cool. All right, that's good to know. Okay, so we gotta implement something to stop the rumble. Got to stop the rumble. I'm thinking you just give it zero. So we got the upload function. Where's the remove function? Or is that what it's called? Remove. No, it's not remove. Well, no, remove. American piss. <laughs> uh, Kira Lord's just like, nah, just keep it. Keep it rumbling forever. Oh, here we go. So, well, yeah, if it's X input. We've already zeroed this. So let's see if that works. Basically, instead of... I don't think there's any way to actually turn it off. I think you just set it to be zero. Let's confirm this. Makes good piss. Guinness is good. I like Guinness. I like, um, I like ciders a lot. I like hard cider. It's good stuff. Um, I kind of have like, a, I think I'm probably one of those people that's allergic to beer, whatever that, whatever that is that you're allergic to in beer. Cause like, I always get a tickle in my throat and like, I feel kind of shitty when I drink beer, but I'd feel good when I drink cider or like any kind of liquor, scotch, tequila. Oh, Teak, it makes your hand deaf or like, you mean sore? Yeah, it's numb. I mean that the word is numb. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's a preference because you have that injury. Oh, I see. Tastes like drinking coffee grounds. Copperberg? Is that a type of cider? I haven't, I don't know, I haven't tried it. We have a Golden State that I really like here in our Golden State of California. But Copperberg, is that a type of... What is that? Okay, so this time it's going to rumble the controller and hopefully it stops rumbling the controller. Because we're calling this remove function. Google it? All right, I'll do that here. Oh, 
Oh, sweet, they do have cider. And beer? Yeah. Sweet. I wish I could drink one right now just to try it. Next time I'm at the store and I'm like somewhere where there's beer, where there's beer and cider, I'll check that out. Yep, Golden State Warriors, that's us. Oh, dang, Teak, you have to recover for 12 hours? Oh, man, that's bad. Oh, dude, well, this next update coming out this weekend, make sure you go to the input section, your input options, and turn off turn off the, the rumble. Okay, so it's rumbling now, and it stopped. Nice. Okay, so that's what you need to do to stop rumbling on Windows. Oh, well, I wonder if it, the rumble will work for other types of controllers, but I don't have anything else I could test. I have an X input. Oh, I have an Xbox One controller. Let's try that. And yeah, let's just plug it in and try it. See what happens. Xbox One controller, here you come. Come on, plug yourself in. Have a little, have a little go. Oh, dang, drawing? Oh man, that sucks. I'm glad, I'm glad it recovers. Okay, so this time I'm trying it out, the Xbox One controller. I don't know what's gonna happen. Because I don't even know if X input works. Make sure. Oh no, it erased my thingy. It does this from time to time. Messes up the saves file. Gosh, my computer is not happy with me right now. It's like you are running a virtual machine, you're compiling. I'm not happy with you. Okay, and there's only one bug to fix really with this, and that's how it gets which device is associated with the rumble. Okay, so they were set up. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's not instant? Oh, okay, well that's good. That's good to know. That's good to know that like at least a video game is not gonna like immediately like kill you or just hurt your hand. So that's good. If you did happen to like, if you did happen to play Songbringer and it had rumble, you could at least go to the input and just turn it off right away. Do, do most games allow you to turn off rumble? I don't even know if most games even have rumble. Most of the games I play don't even have Rumble. The good ones have Rumble. I'm not even sure if they can disable it though. I've never even looked. Foodball? <laughs> some do. Some do, some don't. Can't disable. Okay, Xbox One controller, are you gonna work or what? It's gonna take forever to load. Cause my computer is like running on high right now. It's because I got game show running too. Game shows, you know, encoding my entire screen. Okay, so it does the, okay, bindings are not set up. Or are they, wait. 
see what happens if you just go to the door. Okay, so it didn't work. Either that, oh, either that or it's just not bound. Dang, this is running slow. My computer's... It's dying! Oh, the exit point controller doesn't even work. Or I mean the Xbox One controller. Ah. It works with direct input. Microsoft. Wait, did I have to press it? Oh. Did I have to press this button? Or maybe it, oh, maybe it just didn't set it up with Windows yet. Okay, let's give it one more try. I press this button, and now it's flashing. Maybe that was it. You want a standing desk? You should make one, man. You should make your own. Or, well, if you want to buy a cool one, there's probably some rad ones out there. Sounds like it's windy in my closet. It is, dude. It's so windy. It's so windy in here. It actually was a really windy day out today. Oh, someone able it for a split second at the start of a game intro scene? They tease you. They're like, yeah, we support controller rumble for a whole half second. Wait a minute, the light went out. Okay, now the light's flashing again. I know it works. I know it works with direct input at least. Oh, what's this button in the back? Huh. Yeah, it's just not even connected at all. Oh well. I will have to check it out later on my actual Windows partition. Investigate this a little bit more. It might need to like not use X input and just use the direct input or something. I don't know. Very important thing to check though. Because I don't want to like get rid of support for Xbox controllers, Xbox One controllers. Because the game already had Xbox One controller support. Can't just take it away now. Just for the force feedback. Sounds like I'm by the ocean. Can't put a treadmill. There you go. Treadmill desk. Dang, you're expecting a hurricane? Oh man, it's crazy. Oh, uh, well, I gotta get going here. It's already seven o'clock. It's dinner time. And my computer's about to catch on fire. But this has been a successful day. I learned how to set do vibration for at least for the Xbox 360 controller using this X input set state function. Pretty simple actually compared to Linux and from what I understand Mac. So anyways, that's going to be it for today's stream, guys. So next up is the Power Glove. Yeah, you guessed it, the Power Glove support. Yeah, the support. You're right, the Xbox One support was bad. They had some driver issues and stuff. So yeah, we'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot for watching. appreciate all you guys. See you all next time. Later, later, later.